Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're about to start playing a new game. This game's been out for a little while. I've owned it uh, since release. Never got around to playing it. There's been some DLCs come out. Uh, I've picked those up, and we're going to give this a go. This is The Outer Worlds. Uh, I've heard a lot about it. I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, let's have a little look here. We need to set the gamma. I'm going to turn it up a little bit just for the just for the YouTubes. Um, because sometimes that's a bit of an issue, right? So let's apply that one. Uh, Perilon Gorgon is recommended for players level 25 or higher. Well, Murder on Eridinos uh, is recommended for players level 30 or higher. Okay, to begin your adventure on Perilon Gorgon, you must complete these quests. We'll figure it out as we go, right? I'm sure we'll get that sorted. Um, let's just have a quick look at the settings. Is there anything we need to change? I don't think so. I don't know everything. Oh, there is, extra, there is Ultra. I guess we'll try Ultra first, right? And then we'll we'll turn it down if need be. Uh, is there some subtitles? Um, we'll turn those on as well. Yes, we'd like to save. I don't think we need to do anything else. I'm using a controller, um, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll get started. This is on PC, and off we go. Uh, this is recommended for your first play session. We'll go with normal. I'm not really one for playing games on. Oh, come on. Now you give me the same options. Um, we'll just make it a little bit bigger because my old eyes. Uh, yeah, I'm not one for, for playing games on, on too difficult. I'm more a story person than a than a necessarily a, a retry the same thing multiple times. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Oh, okay. So, uh, a colony ship has been left to, to drift and this fella, whoever he is, uh, Phineas something or other, Vernon, Vernon Phineas Wells, did I see? Uh, is is here and he's he's picking a character uh, and I guess that's going to be us right uh, let's have a little look here we got strength we can put points in strength and dexterity mind and in, uh, intelligence and perception charm and temperament okay uh, I don't really know what we're looking for here uh, maybe we'll go with a melee type character right um Let's go with something like that. Intelligence. Um, I feel like if we're going to be a big, a big brute, we're probably not going to be the most intelligent. Uh, we might be on the on the guard, and we're probably not very charming, um, nor very tem our temperament. You'd need a navigational uh, no passive help. <laughs> no, no, no passive help for regeneration. That doesn't sound good for a melee character. Uh, charm. Let's put oh, this down. Dear. Someone vandalized your hibernation chamber. But we could then put more in these, right? Excellent cellular integrity. Extra oh, carrying stuff. I mean, this is kind of the opposite of the kind of character I would normally play. We've got one more point. Let's put it in uh, perception. Uh, 
You know what? We'll put it in intelligence. Why not? We'll, we'll, we'll have one one thing that's that's not great. Charm is going to affect us during all of the good stuff, right? Okay. Oh, well. Off we go. <laughs> skills. So, uh, melee skills improve critical hit chance with handheld weapons. Each melee point or each point in melee significantly increases one hand in melee, two hand in melee damage or skills up to 50 points each. After 50, you can specialize. Uh, so, we've got points available too. Good. I need someone who can smack a little so we can sense put one in here colony. and I guess dodge and block doesn't yes, seem like the worst I idea right likely to survive a hail of gunfire okay um aptitude no discern our aptitude oh so these are like previous jobs okay let's do a uh what um a safety inspector that doesn't sound like us Food additive taster. That does sound like us. Uh, beverage service technician. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to pick one that I think would have been would have been the most apt. And I think factory worker for our guy. He's not the smartest. Um, he's not the smartest, right? I think we go. I think, oh, hold on. Sub. Just, no, we're going to go factory worker. That sounds You've like us. Limbs, at least. That is a result, actually, having all our limbs. Okay, we're going to need to pick our character. So we're going to be male. Uh, let's come over here to face. There's a randomize. Holy crap. Oh, my lord. What the heck? I'm going to randomize three more times and then not be happy with the one we've got. Wow. Wow, look at us. Look at us. I'm going again. That's more like it. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Here we are. Okay, no, let's just let's just keep going. Nice. What's our name? Uh, I can't type. Hello? Hello? Why can't I type? What's happening here? Okay, good. Scott Dog is in. Uh, okay, so this is a review of what we've got. Uh, we're pretty strong and dexterous. Uh, we've got a little bit of intelligence. You know, we were we were probably a supervisor at the food factory or or something along those lines. No charm. We're a terrible manager, as it as it turns out. Um we we look pretty good, I think. Novice unlock power and sleep attacks. Okay. Let's do this. Start the game with this character. Yes, please, let's move the cursor. Let's get going. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Initiate skip jump. Well, well, well. Terra two. sound ideal ah there you are wondering what's going on eh bit of bad news there I'm afraid your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds this means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. 
I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> okay, nice. Good. I mean, he fills me with confidence. I would question why he... Uh, why he wants to save the colonists. Maybe we'll get to that. Maybe he's just a nice guy, but I'm sensing not. this thing working i can hear you ah, there you are now Hello. Uh, where were we oh yes the smuggler his name is hawthorne and he should be waiting for you at the landing site he's to be your uh, chauffeur so to speak and not to worry i'm told he's a specialist dashing gunslinger one of a kind ship that sort of thing you'll like him i'm sure i've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so i can track your progress i'll check in with you as soon as you land Good luck. I'm uh, all colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. <laughs> I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Good work, everybody. Oh, well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Oh, oh come on. Why are you taking his ship? Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. I mean, it didn't look ideal, actually. Right. Okay, well, it looks looks pretty good. We seem to be pretty stable, although there was a, a bit of choppiness when we got out of the the pod. Let's see if uh, let's see if any of that comes back. I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, but yeah, this looks this looks nice. I have to say, what's that over there? I wonder. Nice. One step ahead of your game. Okay. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh. Oh god. I don't know what I just did, but I don't think I was meant to do it. Okay. Crouch and sneak to avoid detection. Something up there. I can hear it. Nothing in there. Marauder Fug, who's had his legs his legs removed. things. They don't look very pleasant. Look at the size of their teeth. Oh, come on. Who's this dude? Hey, you. God, Pelham. 
You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Uh, now try the rest. Okay, uh, let's sit still. I'll patch you up. Why not? Uh, We're a nice like guy, I think. Stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Okay, Spacer's Choice must be like some kind of faction then. Uh, how are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Uh, what's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics. With guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I mean, it doesn't sound like marauders are particularly nice. I can persuade. If you've got a better idea, give me your gun. I can lie. Someone grounded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. So we could do all three of these. What are we likely to do? We're likely... Uh, we're likely to intimidate. Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. Thanks, buddy. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Well, it's not... Yes, nailed at that time. I mean, it doesn't sound like the greatest uh, of, of catchphrases. Uh, can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Okay. Uh, do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Cleo workers? Uh, I'm off. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for all your help. So we've got a gun. Nice. Obviously you've got to shoot those. How do we change weapons, I wonder? Also, have you got anything else that I can take while I'm here? Because let's be honest, that's what this is about. Phineas. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... We can't hear you. I don't know how to change weapon either, so... You know. We'll stick with the gun for now. Enemy killed. 20 XP. I mean, I feel a little... feel a little... Sorry for that, little dude. Oh, come on. this business tactical time dilation due to complications stemming from being revived after extended hibernation your brain processes time differently pressing the tactical time dilation ttd button slows down the world giving you time to think uh, you have a limited time in this mode standing still drains your ttd meter very slowly while moving attacks okay so it's basically like the old uh fallout thing right okay We hear you right back for that. Should we? I mean, we should, right? Nice, we did it. This bloke went flying. I'm just picking everything up. I'm not reading what it is. Super. Fish sticks. You like fish sticks? Okay. Um, 
hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skill helps you get into some places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used uh, to break open locks. Bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. Uh, your skill is high enough. If your skill is high enough, break to break the security. Uh, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number. Okay. So what's that telling me? I've got 16 and this requires 5. Okay, how do I... How do I change weapons? Not like that. Uh, weapon management. You can have four weapons equipped at a time by navigating to the weapon uh, and selecting the weapon in the slot of the screen. On this page, you'll also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with engineering skill can repair weapons. Okay. So we want to put... What's this? This does 73. This does 73. How do I change between these, I wonder? Uh, special damage knockdown, special damage bleed. Okay. I don't know how to change weapons, mind you. You found a new weapon, the weapon uh, switch button. Oh, God, I missed it. What does it say? Not that one, not that one. Okay, we'll figure this out. There we go, Y, okay. Okay, nice. So we got, like, stamina? Doesn't look like it. Right, we want to see if we can... Oh, there's two of them. We want to see if we can smack this fella around the back of the head, right? Is there a way of telling if you're hidden or not? Is he going to come back this way, do you reckon? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Thank you. There's another one over there somewhere. Is he going to see his dead friend? I smell blood. Here we go again. Oh, he's running off. Come back. Ouch. Holy crap. I think I cut his legs off. When I say cut, I mean I demolished his what well, both his arms and his legs. What and his head. What the heck? Take that Marauder goon. Was there another one here that I could I think I got both of them, right? Okay. My sneaking didn't go as well as I hoped. We'll put it that way. Let's keep going. Okay. Hey, get over here before... You know what, let's just... We'll, we'll try the sword. Hello. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Uh, okay. It's just a landing violation. Let it go. So I, I, so I heard I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Uh, he didn't seem that good as it goes. Uh, he'll make it. I've helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. Sorry. We'll see him back in the water. Sorry, mate. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, 
Need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Uh huh. Uh, does Spacey Trace go back down from a challenge? Guess I'll have to give you a zero on your customer satisfaction survey. Don't worry, sit tight. I'll handle it. Uh, coward, I'll do it myself. So I feel like I feel like we wouldn't quite understand the boundaries of of uh, of people. Rather than we're mean and aggressive, we just we don't quite realise that we're being intimidating or you know we're not clever enough to persuade. We're we're you know we're we're more. Uh, this is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and you take it the wrong way, or you take it the right way. Seriously? But those marauders will... Ugh. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Yeah, let's get the report sorted. Well, there's, there's quite a few of them. Let's see how we do. Come here, come here, I want to kill one. No, come back. I just earned a fine bonus. I mean, that could have gone better, right? They killed all the rest of them before we could get there. Is there a way of like putting our gun away? Our sword away? Uh, there was some more dead people around here, let's... Let's take what they've got. We'll take your light pistol. Thanks very much. We did it. We did it. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. Okay. Um, you do your paperwork. I'm going to go in here. Be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Unreliable. Nice. Okay, we've got some lockers that it would take a little Marauder, bit of time to please open. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Okay, I hear you. You're in here, are you? Okay. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please, hello. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Okay, uh, what are you going to do? Self-destruct? Uh-oh. Disengaging airlocks. Uh oh. Look at her eyes. <laughs> you realize we're on the ground, right? There's something supposed to be happening. <laughs> oh, now she looks really disappointed. Ah. Oh. Um. I need to get this ship in the air. I'm incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Um, um, Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Um... Okay, but I'm not awful. No one's dead yet. I feel like that would be our I answer. Understand. You are speaking metaphorically. Yeah. You wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. <laughs> Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. Oh, thanks very much. I send felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. <laughs> I like it. Uh, you don't understand. My name is Scotto. I understand. You are going undercover with an alias. I will update my nice. I like it. Accordingly. You should do that. Our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Uh, where am I supposed to find something like that? I doubt we'll find a part like that sitting in a garage. We've got engineering. Uh, we, you know, we used to fix the machines back in the food factory. Astutely observed. However. 
probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. Oh, thanks very much. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, right, I got it. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. It is difficult for me to do so. <laughs> I am programmed to accept commands from Captain Alex Hawthorne, after all. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Thanks, Ada. We've leveled up. Nice. Let's have a little look. Skill and improvements. Every time you level up, you can earn skill points uh, to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill melee improves all of your specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly. Uh, every skill improves as it grows by special unlock bonuses, uh, but but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor consumables and other stat and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts your skill checks. Okay, we hear you. Um, level up, you've been promoted. Congratulations, you're going to earn enough experience to go up one level. Open your character ledger uh, to advance your character. Level up increases your health, gives you points to upgrade your skills. So you access a new perk every other level. Okay. So what do we want to level up? We've got, I mean, we've got one-handed or we've got two-handed. I'm tempted to go two-handed, you know. Um, what else? So interestingly, you get these two. So obviously you can see here, level 40 would give us extra benefits. Whereas, you know, these give us, uh, these give us skills. So something like another five points in intimidation would really, really help. Um, because that would get us to the next level up. Lock picking, those sorts of things. We've got uh, engineering and stuff over here. You can see that's being boosted by our suit. I like that a lot. Leadership. Companion abilities. You can order companions to do special attacks. Should We were a manager at a food factory, right? Nice. We'll do that. And I think we'll do intimidation as well. Just straight up. These are the things. We've got those base skills. A chance to terrify. More importantly companions you can order them to do special attacks that sounds like fun okay let's apply those oops um yes we're happy with those you've unlocked a dialogue a dialogue combat skill when attacking the correct type of target will automatically be debilitated okay companion abilities Auntie Cleo knows friends make everything better. Auntie Cleo looks a little scary. Uh, you can command ability one or ability two left and right on the D-pad. I'll try and remember that. Okay, what else have we got? We've got, oops, I've, I've made a terrible error. Let's go back, skills. So we've done skills. We're on to perks. Uh, toughness, how many have we got? We've got one perk point. You grow healthier. Uh, okay, 50% base health. That sounds important. Uh, vendor prices are down. 50% XP from companion kills. I'm going to go with this one, I think. We haven't got a companion, but it sounds like we're going to be using our companions to be shooting. So we should uh, we should do that, I think. Let's just go for it, right? Fine. Nice. Uh, did, we, did we do that? No. Need to apply it, I see. Okay. Um, I think we're good, right? I think we're good okay um and when i think that feels like a really good place to leave it let's just have a little look around the ship and then we'll wrap up what do you do you take pictures these surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly oh Please good ignore them. <laughs> okay uh let's have a little wander through here look at this if your equipment is in need of repair or modification the Crux 2000. Uh, workbench allows you to repair. Okay. Install mod. Okay. Uh, so we've got this melee attack mod allows uh, attack changes the damage type to N ray. Don't know what that means. Um, So 
sell value 500. Can I? Oh, okay. That took forever to do anything. Um, we could install mod on these one-handed weapons as well, could we? We don't have any, but... And then we've got our guns over here. Okay. Nice. Hold on. Let's just go back into that. Tinker. Repair. So we should repair this. Oh, I don't, I don't quite know how I... Uh, install mod. We've done that. Repair. Insufficient weapon parts. So we should break down you. And you, right? And then we should be... No, we've still got insufficient weapon parts. Okay. Fair enough. Anything else in here of any interest? Whoops. Nice. Look at this go. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Okay, we hear you. How do I climb this ladder? I need to come this side. Okay. Look at this. Got board game here. Who wonder who Captain Alex Hawthorne was playing with? Spoon? We'll take that bowl. Didn't even read what it was. Okay, we keep going. We'll just These explore. The cruise quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone. But he always had me. Oh, well, hopefully we'll be able to fill these up so we get more XP. Um, right, let's go down here uh, and have a little look Due down here. Catastrophic power failure. All doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay, fine. Right, um, we'll head out here next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.